Let's let's move to the Sunday night game, which ugh, again we got the Steelers headed to the Chargers. The Chargers are a four and a half point favorite, total of forty six and a half, and they just released that line because we don't know what's going to happen with Ben Roethlisberger. Mike Tomlin came out on Tuesday, said that they are planning, like game planning, the entire game plan around Mason Rudolph being their quarterback. But there is a chance that Roethlisberger will be back this weekend which not a lot of people talking about this whole Roethlisberger thing. The Aaron Rodgers stuff became such a huge deal, but with Roethlisberger, you know, if he's vaccinated, then all he has to do is test negative, you know, twice at any point, and he's good to go. But they are planning on him not playing on Sunday. So if that is the case... Hang um, on. That doesn't make any, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, this this is where the NFL doesn't make any sense. Aaron Rodgers not vaccinated, right? Right. Tested positive for COVID, correct? Correct. Did not have to show a negative test again. Just had to wait ten days and could come back. No, no, he he did have to test nope. negative. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Gary, I, I followed the story. He didn't have to test spot negative. No, he didn't. It's just a ten day waiting period, and then after that, you're in. Oh, it's, it's so basically, he had because I I had read like it it was symptom free and test negative like twenty four hours before the game or whatever or until uh twenty four hours before he could rejoin I, the team. I think no, I, I think it's ten days. I think it was just a flat ten days, which is why he could go now. If he had symptoms, it's different. That's interesting. But if you're vaccinated, you have to show negative test to come back. Uh, yes, you have to test uh, have to test negative twice before you can come back. But okay, but you don't have to wait the full ten days. Like, so right. if you get two right. negative tests two days after you test positive, you're you're good to come back. Yes, that's the difference. That's where the difference is, right there. Okay. Yep. So, All right, that so, makes more sense to me now. All right. So now they are they are planning to play without Roethlisberger. Which, if they play without Roethlisberger, there is no way that I would take the Steelers. In, in any way, the line at four and a half. I just it, this seems like a slam dunk. I don't, you know, <laughs> it's just I don't know what to say about this Steelers team. This is not a good team. Somehow they're five three and one, and had they beaten the the Lions instead of tying them, they would have been in the lead in the AFC North. I I, I don't understand. I don't know how this happens. I mean, I'm I'm going to take the Chargers here minus four and a half because I think the Chargers can cover this even with Roethlisberger being in there. Like even if he does play, I think the Chargers could cover this. So, with it being a whole idea of we're making a game plan for Mason Rudolph, there is no game plan on the planet that can make him a good quarterback. So, I, I will certainly take the Chargers here. Yeah, I'm going to as well. This is this is, has nothing to do with Ben Roethlisberger. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. None of that's relevant here. Okay, the Chargers have been tail spinning. All right, they 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 got off to an incredibly hot start, and then they have been falling wildly. And I just think at some point in time, the bleeding is going to stop. This team is too talented. They're too well coached. They're too good. They are not going to just win. They're going to win. They're going to cover. And and I, it, it just doesn't matter. This team is bouncing back this week. I tend to agree, especially on Sunday Night Football. Let Herbert cook. We'll, we'll say that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.